Hello, we're back to playing the Doom Core trilogy, and it feels like it's been a little while. I was actually pretty busy for a week there, so... Anyway, we're back here with Map 4, which is called Outpost Silence. Although it's written differently there on the screen once again. So, right away we start off with a couple early secrets. So this is the first map to actually be an original map for Eternally Yours, since the first three maps were actually very old maps that were updated and put into this map pack, so there's at least a couple of other maps that were actually made beforehand. There were actually a couple of birthday maps that I made for some users on Doomworld, but there's a handful of other original maps and this is one of them that was made specifically for this map set. So. I do really like the combination of the tech textures and the flooded areas. Uh, super shotguns are not cutting it out here. And of course those guys are wandering down there. Oh. Ah, oh, I was going to shoot the barrel. <laughs> Got in a fight with someone. Oh, I guess he's trying to fight him, maybe? That's funny. I think he is. Come on, let's try to get him to go over here. Uh, maybe he's uh, trying to attack the shotgun, or I don't know. Whoa. Just out of nowhere. Took a huge hit. Yeah, he is trying to attack the mancubus. That's funny. Now he's finally got his attention back on me. Uh, let's see. I need some stronger weapons here. Okay, so there's a switch I can shoot in here. It's for the computer map secret. So uh, let's see. I guess I'll pick up some of these. And I don't think I need to go up here. Actually, I already shot the guys that were in there. But yeah, this is how you get the blue key. I think it's this switch. Yeah, this lift here. Kind of like the oddity of the placement. I forget what that was inspired by. Actually, I think I do need to go up here, because obviously I'm trapped down here. And I need to find some other switch. Yeah, there we go. And this will bring up the staircase. So as I was saying about the, there were the first three maps that were older maps, and then there's the two maps that were already made beforehand. I think they were actually both made in uh, maybe around October of 2011. So actually before I even released Reverie, the, I was working on this somewhat. Because I had already technically finished Reverie by August of 2011. So I had plenty of time to contribute to other projects as well as working on this one while I was still testing it quite a bit. And that's just kind of the passion of doom mapping is like the moment I finish maps I just want to move on to the next one and do all that stuff. It's just a lot of fun. I've even been doing it recently where I just play a map on all three difficulties and then I immediately move on to the next one. It's just the joy of being really inspired, or feeling inspired anyway, and motivated for creating more Doom levels. I think there's at least one of these, there's a secret. I think it's slightly marked differently. Yeah. So I think I gotta be careful here. Some dangerous traps coming up. I don't mind a bit of machine gun action. Just gotta be careful for the, that guy. <laughs> Movement felt a little bit stiff for a moment there. I really like a lot of the traps that came out in some of these following sequences. You just open the door here, and then you get the little tease there, but then suddenly 
you know, those doors shut there, and then you hear a teleport sound. But suddenly this area is opened up with all these monsters. So yeah, it's these two metal pillars here that suddenly dropped. Kind of makes me wonder. I forget. Um, oh yeah, actually. So this is going to open that door. Yeah. <laughs> nice shooting the post there. Um, yeah, I almost kind of wonder if like playing this in co-op, if a player could possibly get trapped or somehow block the door from closing and cause the revenants to teleport or actually to unleash them sooner than expected. So this part's really dangerous. I'm just going to have to run backwards and shoot. Just like that. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things it's really easy if you know what to prepare for. Here's another secret, just plain metal wall. It leads into this area. Soul Sphere and Mega Armor. Pretty generous and I do kind of like the randomness of the red rocky area. It's actually seen from here, but you can't actually see into the area because it uses a mid texture. So, anyway, it's just a number of sequences for the blue key, and now we can go back here. Or actually, I guess that's the red key. I already got the blue key. So, now I can actually venture into this area. And once again, metal themes. Of course, knowing me, a huge lover of the metal textures. I'm trying to remember what inspired this map in particular. I guess, actually, this one kind of feels a little more like the innocent crew between Dennis and Thomas Muller and their work, not just in Memento Mori, but also in Obituary, one of their map sets. Kind of reminds me, I think, in some parts. So we have this deadly spiral area, actually. <laughs> I almost forgot I have the computer area map. going to have to face a lot of these hard-bodied monsters going down, and there's going to be an arch file coming up shortly. Probably, anyway. Maybe, yep, just around the corner. Not too bad if you have them cornered, though. I don't remember when this map in particular was made, though. I think, uh... Well, I mentioned, um... Specifically, the birthday maps are actually maps 5 and 8. I think those, I mentioned, they were probably around October I worked on those. And the funny thing is, I remember working on both of them on my desktop. Most of... Actually, almost all of the maps I've ever made for Doom at the time, at least in uh, 2010, 2011, 2012, almost all of them were made on my laptop. So those were actually a couple maps that I actually did make on my desktop. And I think I was actually visiting in Central California as well. I think that's the other little thing that I always kind of remember about this map set is I actually went around quite a bit at the time, so I kind of feel like a lot of these maps were made in different places. They were all pretty much made in California, but like in different parts between San Diego, Long Beach, and Central California. Or Atascadero, specifically, anyway. I should have let that chain gunner finish off the Kakodemon. I just kind of ruined his fun. Okay, there's another little secret here. Not much. I just kind of have fun putting in more secrets or finding reasons to, anyway. I do kind of feel like I'm not very fond of how thin these ledges are here. Kind of feels like really tight space. Oh yes, lots of skeletons incoming. Uh, no surprise falling there. Ah, uh, forget it. Let's just do this. OK, 
Okay, I know there's gonna be another little ambush, probably. Oh, well, not too bad, I guess. Opens that teleport, but I think there's one more secret here. No, it's this one. Alright, cool. Yeah. Oh, I hear something out there. Just in case. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just go this way. Face him from a safer distance, anyway. So, this opened up. That's the lift. Uh, got seven secrets. Seems I got all of them. And there's this last enemy. So... Oh, pfft. One last little mistake on my part, and that looks like everything. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so... I don't remember... Uh, some of the original maps I made for this, uh... I don't seem to remember too much about where I was in some of these maps. At least for this one, I don't remember specifically. But there might be some later ones that I do remember where I was at the time, but... I think this one was inspired a little bit from uh, Obituary, as I mentioned, and just kind of a mixture of ideas. I think I just thought of the idea of just the metal and the textures of the, like the bleeding tech textures and stuff like that in a flooded region just sounded really interesting to me. And playing around with lots of line death triggers and traps, just all of that stuff, which once again feels kind of inspired from the Innocent Crew which is uh, the Muller brothers. But yeah, so I think that's pretty much it for that one. So I'll see you guys in the next part. Take care.